Catholic Daily Journal for Friday, January the 11th, 2019. Today is the birthday in 347 AD of the Roman Emperor Theodosius, who made Christianity the state religion of the Roman Empire. After centuries of Roman persecution, first of the Jews and then even more harshly of Christians, the Roman Empire officially endorsed and adopted the Nicene Creed. It's hard to say that this was an entirely good thing. While it ended persecutions and murders, it opened the door for what we might call today cultural Christianity, where people are Christian in name, mostly as a function of momentum, but not as a real deliberate choice to know, love, and serve God. Whether it was for good or bad, it was today in 347 AD that Christianity first became a state religion. In 1964 today, the first governmental report tying smoking to health risks was published. It was U.S. Surgeon General Luther Terry, and the report was entitled Smoking and Health. Since then, a great many studies have shown that smoking tobacco has all kinds of negative impacts on health, ranging from cancer to heart disease to depression. Anti-smoking campaigns have become a cause for moral indignation in the United States and in Europe, But in recent years, that moral weight has been undermined by the high coincidence of anti-smoking people inexplicably supporting the legalization of marijuana. And today in 1843, United States lost Francis Scott Key, an American lawyer born in 1779 in rural Maryland. It was at Fort McHenry during the War of 1812 when Key, who considered himself an amateur poet, witnessed a nighttime bombardment and was so moved by the explosions all around the flagpole and the fact that the flag had not been lowered for the night. He wrote a poem called The Defense of Fort McHenry. No one is sure who set that poem to the popular drinking song to Anacreon in Heaven, but it became a popular civic hymn. And in 1916, Woodrow Wilson finally officially named it the National Anthem of the United States of America. Here's the first stanza of that poem by Francis Scott Key, originally titled The Defense of Fort McHenry, but which we know as the Star-Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. The defense of Fort McKinney by Francis Scott Key, who died today in 1843. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.